Good morning everybody, it's been a while but I'm back! International Master Sopka Gormishvili here for you on Chess24. We're gonna have a banter blitz today with five minutes of blitz games so you should challenge me with five minute blitz games and let's get started! I do apologize for the delay, um, um, I started the show a bit late but I had some technical problems I hope you forgive me and let's start the show with good news and congratulations to the winner of the Beal Chess Festival, uh, Shahriar Mamidyarov. He played an amazing tournament. He just beat Magnus Carlsen uh, yesterday and he has a two-point lead so he won the uh, tournament already. One round to spare. Um, congratulations! Uh, very very amazing performance and now let's um, get started let me see the challenges I have lots of challenges so let's see I'm able to read the chat so if you have any questions please do write in the chat you know you can always feel free to ask whatever you want and I'll take my time to answer your questions. Meanwhile, I'll take a look at the challenges and there we go. Premium members, thanks for challenging me and let's get started with the lowest rated uh, from my challenges is um, Onam. Five minute blitz games from Spain, uh, hello there, I think I'm playing with white pieces, so let me show you the game. Okay, so guys, I have news for you, actually. <laughs> I am going very soon, actually, this, um, let's say this, this, Saturday, I'm going to guess where? Hamburg. I'm going to be back to my studio, my lovely studio, to record new series. New series are coming, and I'm very happy about that. Um, uh, I will. I won't spoil uh, what I'm going to record. It's about you to guess um, what I'm going to do. So, let's see what you're gonna guess. All right, what position I have here is um, something that I'm not very much um, equipped with, the lines. Um, but I think that for now, uh, both, both sides are fine. Uh, what I'm thinking about is e5 at this moment, but after e5, d takes, d takes, queen takes, rook takes, and knight d7, I don't see that I have uh, that much to uh, play. Uh, b4 is the threat, e4 pawn is hanging, so I should do something about it. Either play bishop d3, which I think is quite logical, because after bishop d3 I don't want to uh, trade my queens, I will just want to play e5 at some point and after knight d7, f4, uh, knight f3, e5. This is my plan. I don't know if that is the one I should play, but um, I want to play like this. Okay, queen a5. Of course, b4 is the threat and my a2 pawn is hanging. But um, let's see what happens after e5, because this was my main point to play e5. d takes, I think I will take with, oh, b4, still b4, that's, that's interesting. So if I take on f6, b takes, of c, b takes c3, queen c3, queen c3, b takes c3, and knight f6, I don't like my position at all. I have to move, I guess, and I will move on b1. That was my plan. If I want to go to e2, then queen a2 is not, uh, is something I don't like. Knight f4, I'll grab this pawn to give a check and spoil the um, black king. 
but it is quite complicated position. Pramod is asking if I'm going to record this series on openings. Yes, I'm going to record an opening ser video series and I already have it planned, so I hope it will go good. But if you guys prefer to have a different uh, non-opening video series, please let me know. Short Castle, very, very interesting move. Um, I think that's uh, the way to play, but I will just grab the pawns because I am a, a, how to say, a pawn grabber, I can say. <laughs> um, right, I'm not that happy about my position so far. I have to protect my a2 pawn and d4 pawn at the same time, so I think that bishop c4 is a nice start. What I like about my position is that I have extra pawns. Um, bishop c4 is quite okay for now. If knight b6, then bishop b3, and we will see that this queen on a5 is standing not very good. Knight e7, I'm not sure about this move because um, I could just play rook e1 and uh, pin, uh, the, pin the rook and threaten to take on e7. So um, generally knight on d5 was uh, standing very good. So what I would try is to play maybe knight b6 or queen c7, knight b6 and a5 to get some uh, counterplay and attack. All right, uh, what can I do now? Knight f6, I think I'll, I can just develop for now with uh, knight f3. Bishop f5 is possibility, but I think that then h3 and g4 is something to consider. <laughs> Pramod. Pramod is asking very interesting questions. Um, let me see what I'm going to play first here, Pramod, and then I'll answer your question. Pramod is interested in Anisha's performance. Uh, this year it is 28.37 and what led to such a rapid raise? I would take all credits, but I don't know if he agrees. <laughs> um, well, so far so good. So let's see how it continues. We have Olympiad ahead and it's gonna be very interesting. Are you guys going to follow the Olympiad? I have a surprise for you there. Um, I don't know if I should spoil it or not. Let's wait a bit. Let's wait for the news. Bishop b5, uh, defending the c6 pawn. Um, I think I should play a tiny bit. Um, oh, what the hell is this? Bishop a4. Oh, I just blundered the pawn because I thought that only ba was possibility, but of course not. Okay, then I'm going to go knight c4 first to somehow... Somehow, I don't know. It's awful what I did. A4 is totally awful, but that's a blunder what to do. Um, queen here. Let me take this bishop. And play knight d6. I don't know if this one is the right thing to do. Definitely my position was much, much better than it is now. And knight on d6 is a very good piece, I would say. But okay, what to do? My knight on b1 is horrible, um, so I have to play very, very carefully now. 
especially I have 50 seconds, so I don't want to uh, spoil anything. What I have to play on is probably some kind of attack on the king side, um, using the fact that the queen is a bit misplaced, so you cannot maneuver with this queen very much. B3 probably is interesting option for him. Knight B6. This is a bit strange, so I would just uh, follow my plan to play on the king side. And let's see how it goes. I don't like Knight B6. Knight on D5 was very good, controlling the E7 square. And after Knight B6, I don't know where it goes. Um, maybe Rook D8 was his plan, but after rook d8, then knight b7 and knight c5. Ooh, that's that's something not that great, I would say. Um, is there anything I should be bothered? Queen a2 he wants, probably, but I would like to play queen b3, not to get mated. Knight d5, what is this? I'll just take it. I'll just take it. Whatever you give me, I'll just take it. And I will say thank you because I'm a pretty polite girl. Okay. You're playing on the time, but I have more time. Queen b3, rook e8 is there. Like this I will play knight c3. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the game. I, I think that it was pretty interesting game. What I do think in this position is that after e5 and b4 it became very complicated. And after knight b1, knight d5, um, also I think it was possible to first take on uh, e5, then I think I would take with f pawn and knight d5 afterwards. And I think that black is doing pretty well. Um, h6 is possible afterwards or short castle and I have to think something um, maybe I thought that I can play a3 first probably I have to develop but the problem for me is that of course the knight on b1 and um, it's not only the bad piece but it really has to come at some point somewhere so if I stabilize the position and play let's say queen f2 knight d2 knight c4 or knight b3 with with knight c5 plans then probably i'm fine so it is complicated position and um i think that after knight d5 um if e takes d6 and e takes d6 happens then rook e1 is very annoying um king f eight but you don't want to play this this is not the way to play f5 i can play or no danger for me at least all right um thank you very much for the game let's see um Xka, Xkas is saying can you play with me because i will leave <laughs> if you have to leave i'm gonna play with you okay there we go, here we are. I am playing with white pieces again and let me mix it up and play knight f3 instead of e4, otherwise I'm uh, playing e4 all the time. So, c5, if I play e4, I'm going to transpose into Sicilian, which I don't recommend in my video series. If you heard of my video series, then you should know that I did, um, Quite nice, I would say, video series on Claude Sicilian, at least I like it. Um, please do write in chat if you uh, checked one. Um, okay, let's play c4 and now we will go into some kind of um, theoretical line, which I pretty much enjoy playing it with white pieces but it doesn't mean, by no means it is um, good or anything like that. Okay, let me go knight b5. I think queen c7 is a tiny bit 
awkward move because then I have like knight b5 and e5 you have to play. This is what I meant. And now knight, um, I want to take the knight in f6 and have the d5 square for me. So I think that um, this, this combination was in my favor. <laughs> David DM5 is telling me that um, he missed my broadcasts. Yeah, I had a bit of holidays, but I'm back to work, guys. And by the way, your hair looks great. Cheers, and how are you? <laughs> I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you for the compliments. I, I have a new hairstyle, a short one, <laughs> which I like very much. Okay, so now I don't see why I shouldn't take this knight and why I shouldn't take the pawn on d6. So you guys know that I'm a pawn grabber, I will say so. And I don't see the reason why I should not do it. Okay, my opponent has two bishops, but I have lead in development, I have an extra pawn and I have very important d5 square. So I think that these reasons should be enough to take the pawn. Let's go knight d5. Okay. <laughs> Let's take d6. Bosch of Chess Lab is telling me that he loves my Triangle Slab video series. Thank you very much. I'm always very, very happy to hear um, such feedback. Okay, let's kick this knight out. Um, let me check that everything is going well. Right. So, would you guys, oh, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I think, so the thing is that if I take this one, I probably will take this one, in any case, bishop f5, I'll go rook d1 so that I don't get into any kind of bishop d3. I of course can take on uh, f6, but I do think that I'm not in a hurry, so I will just uh, I'll just play like this for now. Rook c1, and let me see where. Now I can probably take it and get my bishop to d5. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Now this is going to be interesting because I definitely need some kind of um, good technique to win this one. I want to go e4 first. I want to double. Mm, I have to be careful with b5 a bit. So. First, let's get my king where it belongs to. I will get my king to e3. That's probably the shortest way. I think I should not be afraid of any kind of b5 moves because um, yeah, just b b5 c5 i have so that shouldn't be a big problem let me go rook d2 because if i swap all the rooks i have an extra pawn and this should be very good for me so Pico, what is your next tournament and anisha's next tournament have you ever played against each other at a tournament uh, no we didn't play against each other, um, only at home and not that much. My next tournament um, 
not known yet. Um, I'll probably play some league games, but I don't think I'll play any tournament in the near future. For now, um, yeah, I thought this should be not a big deal because I have F3, King, E3. Okay, this is interesting, but let me go F3 for now. I should be easily winning. Shouldn't it be? Let's go A3. Maybe not. Let's go King to D3. Opponent games, they are all on um, oh is the video stock let me go h4 um is the video stock let me go like this guys could you please tell me if everything is fine <laughs> Okay, I think it's time to go e5. I can go c5 as well. Um, but I don't see why I shouldn't go e5. Though c5 probably winning. c5, take, take. Yeah, I think c5 should be winning. Because of the tempos. Oh, okay. Video is stuck, but I hope you still hear me and see the position. I will try to refresh everything after... Oh, B5. That shouldn't be the way. Okay, let me go E5 then. E6. This is winning. I'll grab the pawns. You know, guys, I'm the pawn grabber, so I'll just grab the pawns. Okay, which one to go? Oh, come on. I'll just get another queen here. I'll get... Oh! <laughs> Thanks, good. I have queen. Should I mate you now? With 20 seconds, I think, oh, I should be in time to mate. Oh my God. Okay. Not the best technique, but I'm in time to mate. That should be very funny that my face is frozen and but you can still uh, see my uh, game. So let me let me get to full screen. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what what is going on. <sighs> My show is full of surprises. <laughs> At least I have a bit of worried face, but uh, <laughs> not, not like awful face to look at. Um, okay, let me get, let me check everything. So I'll be back in a second. Um, that's pretty, pretty difficult to Oh God, that's not going to be easy. And I 
have no idea what to do <laughs> to get my face back. Do you guys want me to continue playing games and just ignore the fact that I'm frozen? <laughs> we can do that. We can definitely do that. I think I should be back now. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Hooray. Oh God, that, that was tough. But it just needed to unplug and plug it again. The my webcam stopped. So um, okay, I guess I'm back. Let me let me just see another challenge and another challenge would be somebody I think I haven't played yet. It's going to be. Um, okay, let me actually take a look at the game because I think it was pretty interesting one. The um, end game I think is pretty lost and yeah, queen c7. I think main problem of this uh, position was queen c7. Um, please forgive me if this is some kind of theoretical line and I don't know it but it seems that queen c7 knight b5 queen b8 and bishop f4 is the way to play with white pieces because uh, I definitely want to take on uh, d6 and after e5 and bishop g5 if I'm able to take this knight on f6 then I have d5 square and if I manage to put my knight on d5 the other knight back on um, c3 for example if you play a6 you don't have that much time you have to take with g takes uh, f6 and I thought I would go knight uh, c2 and my plan is probably to go knight c2 knight e3 knight d5 but maybe still this was better uh, to play like this rather than um, just give up the d6 pawn here I can go knight c2 because I have to protect the c4 uh, pawn so yeah I think b3 is fine to play maybe now queen c7 and long castle at some point should be definitely better than what happened in the game but anyway thanks for uh, <laughs> playing with me and always five is telling me to choose him please 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 because uh, he is a premium member already and premium members are always welcome <laughs> always five hi there hi five wow i'm getting another white what is going on i'll play d4 this time what is going on is it my birthday? I don't think so. I am born in a very cold winter day. <laughs> First of January, by the way. It's funky to have a birthday on New Year. I always say that, hey, come on, you were just telling me you want to play with me and you don't want to play now. Come on, always. Sorry, I have to abort the game, otherwise, I don't know. Sorry, I'll play you next time when you're gonna be there. Okay. <laughs> Botchev, just lab, is also telling me that he's also a premium member, so I cannot not accept it if I accepted one request I have to accept another one okay here we go again with white pieces wow that's uh, that's very very good start <laughs> um, back from vacations back to work all white pieces thank you very much that's a very warm welcome let's play Quincy 2 I played lots of lines in my life in this position 
Queen c2, knight f3, e3, e3 with bishop d3, e3 with knight e2. Queen c2 I loved the most. I am not sure if I remember everything that young Gustafsson is saying um, in the video series of his Nimzo Indian with Queen c2. DC, by the way, I don't. I, I had to take DC, not knight of three. I had to take DC. I already I already embarrassed myself. Please, Jan, forgive me. Um, you know I didn't mean it badly. Um, so I have to definitely think of something smart here now. Otherwise, I will lose my job. <laughs> um, Do you want mind saying that I he has never played with me also so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play with all of you guys. B5 What is this? Mouse slip? You probably wanted to play B6. I guess it's a mouse slip. Otherwise it doesn't make sense. Really does make sense, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely a mouse slip. Okay, bishop d3. Let's see if he can get something out of it. I got a question. David DM5 is asking. Let's make castle first. I know Georgia is located in between Europe and Asia, so are you European or Asian? <laughs> Saludos de Mexico! Uh, <laughs> well, Georgia is officially in Europe, so I think that we are Europeans. Let me play bishop d2 here. And it, it's really funny, yeah, it is between Asia and Europe. But yeah, I like it the way it is. Let me get another pawn as well, or not. If I play e5, knight d5, then I might have problems on c3. Um, knight a bit. Do I need it or I do not need it? I think it's fine. e5, take the pawn on h7 and get back with the bishop. To d3 or e4, that is the question. I think d3 is safer. <laughs> Too many usernames is telling me. So Pigo, husband is back in top 10. Champagne! Yay! <laughs> so my, my idea is now to get queen a4, but I didn't think of knight b4. Probably should be played. Knight b4, queen b1, knight g6, I'll get that one, I'll take it, without any problems, probably the idea was knight c3, so it should not be, I should not underestimate the these things, but I wanted to play knight g5. I don't know if it's mate or not. Is it mate? Um, knight g5, knight e2, king h1, bishop g2, I'll just take it. Queen h7, I want to mate. I think knight g5 should be mate. I don't see the um, I don't see the defense. Knight e two, king h one. Yeah, queen g five. I'm just an extra piece up. Um, do you speak Russian? Yes, I do speak Russian. Bishop e four. Bishop b4, Pramod is saying that it was the way. Okay, queen 
queen g5, I'll just take this one. This is lost. Yep, I do speak Russian, I speak Georgian. Georgia has uh, own language. Oh, haha, <laughs> native four. Mm -hmm. I caught you. Bishop d8, knight f4 was the trick, guys, by the way. Yeah, and this, this is, this should be over soon. I have extra queen. So I, I speak Georgian, I speak English, Russian, a bit of Spanish and a bit of Dutch as well, but not that I can say I'm fluent in it, so I definitely have to work on my Dutch. It's kind of a shame if you live in Holland and you don't speak Dutch. And yeah, tough language. All right, guys, let me see where was the mistake. Yeah, b5. Please tell me that it was a mouse sleep. It was a mouse sleep wasn't it? I think it was. So I'm not going to comment it and let me see. Somebody was asking me also to play with uh, him that he never played with me. Uh, some kind of one, two, three. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Again, white pieces. Wow. I, okay, just 24, I won't have any moves left if you give me so much white. <laughs> I've tried everything today, I've tried e4, knight f3, d4, c4, g3. Mick Tall is asking if I'm going to make new video series. Yes, very soon, very soon I'm going to make uh new video series in Hamburg and German German I don't speak no probably after Dutch it's gonna be easier to learn German <laughs> um, yeah bunch of chess lab said that b5 was a mistake a mouse sleep it's it's fine let me go e3. Pramad is saying, I think you're doing a repertoire from white side. That's, that's correct. Well, let's crush me is asking me very badly to say happy birthday, Ron Vidheit. Vidheit. But you should write there, please, in the end. Otherwise, the tone is a bit um, rude. Just to tell me, like, say happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Um, yeah, where, where was this? Bishop c5, bishop b4. I mean, for what? Losing a tempo. That was not good. I'll just take your bishop now. He's saying, today is my birthday. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> what is this series about? Or is it a secret? I want to keep it as a secret for now. Oh, yo anma. One, two, three. You're losing too many tempos. I've been always told, first develop, then think of any action, which I also sometimes do really weird stuff. Um, I mean that I sometimes start action without having any reasons to, but this is not correct. What Black did here, bishop c5, bishop b4, knight a5, knight c6, 
If it works, it was just genius provocation, but I don't think it should work. Um, let me win a saying, I guess it might be Italian. Interesting, interesting. But I did scotch already on E4, E5. I hope you will reveal many secrets in your opening series. Definitely, I'm not playing that much already, so I can feel free to share with you all my knowledge. <laughs> well, I don't have any secrets. Um, Fisherman is telling me that he likes my video series. Very, very uh, happy to hear that. And what is this? What kind of position we have now? I have two bishops which I'm very happy about it. I have space advantage, also happy about that. And two bishops versus two knights, which one is better? D5 pawn is hanging. Don't hurry up, girl. D5 pawn is hanging. Yeah. Sometimes this kind of things attack me that I want to attack and I don't see another side of the board. I just focus on one side, which is very, very bad habit. Um, and it is really awful to play like that. Because you should see all squares, whole board, to not to blunder anything. And I always was telling you guys, I don't know if you remember, but I was always telling you that um, it would be very good if you do the Blumenfeld method, which I was taught when I was a kid, to recheck the line before you play it. So if you have an important calculation going on and you have lots to calculate, please take a deep breath for two, three seconds, just look away, I don't know, do something, and after two seconds, get back on board and see, am I blundering something? And then you will see the whole board. Okay, so after de5, should I take this pawn or not? His idea, of course, is that if I take an e5, he wants knight ed5, and he will get my bishop back. That is what I don't want. I wanted to play d4. I don't know if it makes sense, but I wanted to play so. Mm, d4, knight g6. What can I do also is just to take the pawn on e5 and after knight e d5, just go back with my bishop to b2. Oh, so that was not his idea. <laughs> Okay, but is is it correct if I play bishop h3, you have to come h5, right? But I can I can just play bishop um, bishop f4, having an extra pawn. Still, <laughs> bunch of chess love is saying that I hope. There are not enough challengers, so we can play again. Oh, sorry, I have to disappoint you, but there are lots of challenges that I have to accept. A video series on how to defense opening gambits. Kings, Blumenfeld, Avance, Albin Counter, etc. Is it the one you're guessing that I'm doing, or is it the one you would like me to do? Which one? Of these two. Tell me, Pramat, tell me. I think this should be over soon. Um, let's get my queen here. Another rook in the center, h3. By the way, guys, I heard uh, lots of times the problem 
which I also have, by the way, is that um, the same thing that I said before, that develop the pieces and then sort the action. For example, I want my piece, every piece to be working and to not to be on the starting position. If I have better square for them, I have to use that better square and use the fact that I'm extra pawn up, I have an extra pawn, I have center, two bishops, everything is good. And then start the action. So what I want now is to trap this knight on g4. And my idea is sometimes to play, sometimes to consider to play bishop h3 and on h5 to play e6. Would that make sense? I think that makes sense if I don't blunder d5 on. Um, let's try. Bishop h3, h5 should be played. Then I can play queen e4. Or if I play e6, then queen d5, e takes f7 with check and g6. Knight is hanging, so that was my trick. Ooh, you don't even play. You don't even play uh, h5. Hm, okay. Okay, then I will play rook f5. I think this is very smart. <laughs> <laughs> because h5 is not there anymore and this knight has problems. If knight h6, I will just take it. Thank you. Thank you very much for the game. Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, yeah. No, 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 no. e3, bishop b4. What is this? No. <laughs> a6, d6, a5. Any move, but not bishop b4. You already developed your bishop. Knight g e2 d6 a3 take take and knight a5. Also big no no because I want anyway to play d3 and I want anyway to play b4 to get a space on the queen side. So you shouldn't help me with that. You have to just take care of development first. Okay, if you wanted to get this knight, okay, but still you have to castle, castle for now. But another thing is that um, Generally, it's not a good idea to trade the bishop to the knight here because these knights on c3 and d2, they are a bit clumsy. I don't have many squares for my knight on e2 and what I dream of is that I want to go on d5 or somewhere else and get my another knight to c3. That is why trading is in white's favor because if these knights are clumsy and they are disturbing each other, it is better for white to have one knight rather than two. After bishop c3, knight c3, I have more space, I have no knight that is disturbing me, and I have two bishops. So, that was a big no-no. <laughs> Alright, let me see another challenge, which will be completely <laughs> random. I have drawn against Anand. I've never played against you. That is my new nickname. I never played against you. <laughs> okay, black pieces. Woo, this is scary. This is going to be really scary. Night Earth. Inviting me. No, no Night Earth. Okay, I was playing here this e5 and d5 always was playing e5 d5 bishop g5 but to be honest i never liked it <laughs> let me try something else let me try just the normal bishop e6 c4 that is what white wants to do to get the d5 square oh h6 i wanted to play what the hell is h5 oh god Okay, <laughs> mouse sleeps, happens. Jan played this guy the other day. How did it, how did it, how did it happen? Okay, h5, if you say a, continue with b, 
That's what I have to do. Vishy loves his knights. Knights can be very tricky. Especially in this closed position. Big top is sank. Yeah, I know guys, I know. But what to do? I have to funk it up a bit. Otherwise, I, I don't know what to do. My only chance is that this knight is pretty, pretty awful on b3. Um, so what I have to play is like try to play a6, b5, rook c8, create some counterplay on the queen side. Otherwise, clearly no chance. I am positionally busted as well. I, to be honest, I didn't like bishop e3. I thought that uh, after h5, which was a horrible move, a mouse slave, I, would, I wouldn't play that in other case. Um, bishop g5 is more just, I think it's better. Let's say it's better. Okay, what is this? I think it's a bit too early to come to d5. I'll just take it. I'll just take it. I will play. I don't want to take and c1. But I also don't want to allow nice a5. So I have to take it, I think. Oh, sorry. Queen c1. Now at least there is no nice a5. And let me play this, knight h5, to scare him a bit that I want some kind of knight f4 and get, get on dark squares. Bishop e7, knight f4. Does it make sense? It should. Why it should not? didn't like 95 I really didn't not like 95 you 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 want to get on d5 square with the piece not with the pawn because now I think that to be honest I'm doing totally fine I really like my position I have different plans I have plan with a g5 knight f4 I I can even play knight f4 and sacrifice this um this pawn because i will get tremendous compensation for it i'm not feeling that way though <laughs> let's take it easy michael j is michael j is um is saying that this is some lighter knight of line now and I like white. No, is it is is this correct? Come on, I'll just take it. F4. That's a very weird move. I wanted to give this pawn myself. This this is really weird. Okay, mm, let's go bishop g5. I probably could play queen b6 before, not to allow bishop. Uh, sorry, knight on d4. But the thing is that I'm not afraid of. Uh, I'm not afraid of knight d4. Queen b6, knight f5. Oh, I don't have bishop e3, that's pd. I can take on b2, but I don't want to give the give back the d6 pawn. I can take an f2, king f2, and play rook d8 with the idea of g6. Looks great. I wouldn't agree with Michael J that he likes white's position. Probably he wrote it before f4, but 
yeah, I, I think that black has pretty good chances, even if not b4. This will be drawn. Why? 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 Come on. Why that pessimistic about my skills? <laughs> Come on. I want to score 100% today. Is that a shame? Okay, first things first. Let me grab this one. G6, knight d4. Now let's get back to the e4 pawn. Well, I have to be honest with you guys, I really think that black is better. Not that I am too ambitious, but e4 pawn is weak, dark squares are weak, e5 is a fortress for me, c5 is possibility for the knight, knight d7, knight c5, and it's not over, it's not just, uh, you know, knight g4 is a possibility to play here. Interesting, no? Knight g4. Bishop g4, rook e4. Knight f3, though. Rook g4, and. Hmm, I don't know. Let's play knight d7. Indecisiveness. That's also one of the biggest problems in chess. When you have so much choice as you don't know what you want to play. Knight f6. This was my um, plan. So to say knight d7 back, I wanted to give check. Oh, you're just giving me this pawn. That's, that's a bit crazy. First, I'll get here, bishop f6. Let's see where the knight goes. Doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Um, very interesting. I don't have that much time, um, so I have to be very, very quick. I think I'll get this one. Oh, this is a, oh, okay. I shouldn't have played this. I shouldn't have given up my. Uh, Looks awful what I did, to be honest. Totally awful. Oh god. E5 is there. Ah! Oh. Come on. I played so awful! Oh god. My only chance is just timing. I don't even know if it's. Ah! Uh. What was this? What was this? Mate? He wants mate. He just wants mate. Okay, this is just lost. Resign! Now your nickname, new nickname is I have won against Sopico. What was this? What was this um, technique of endgame? Please guys tell me, what was that? Because I cannot explain. I really cannot explain. Panic of seeing that time is ticking and there are seconds, one of the biggest mistake. Indecisiveness that I told you is big problem when you like so many variations and you cannot choose one. You're choosing between and you're wasting your time. It's just better to get one line calculated Decide on that one and play without wasting the time. And a bit of stupidity <laughs> as well. I mean, this this was just, a, um, yeah. What, what I wanted to do is just to play knight c5, but then I found out that this is um, going to be 
not nice for me because king is already in the center. I still have a chance to uh, to defend this game, of course. But okay, here at least play g5 or f6. F6 I have to play here, not to allow e5. And but still, white is the one who is pushing. And um, kudos to my opponent uh, that he played so nicely and very fast. Um, he did all the things he wanted to do and then just e5 and yeah, I panicked, I was collapsed. Okay, thank you very much for bidding me in a nice way. <laughs> um, knight e5 instead of bishop takes looks, looked interested. interesting. Um, I think f6 pawn was hanging, right? f6 uh, no, bishop was hanging. Yeah, knight e5 I can play here. Um, shameful game. Oh. I mean, this position is dream position for uh, neither players, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Promedy saying no black for Sapigo, please. She's so bad in black with black pieces. Ooh. Fisherman. He was asking me so many times to play with him. There we go. Yeah, I made a mass sleep in the opening, Mick Tolly saying that's true. Didn't you have knight d5, ed, rook d3, king g4, rook e3 at some point? Oh, black again. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, okay, knight of, come on. Are you kidding me? Don't play f3 now. <gasps> Seriously? Evil. <laughs> okay, what now? Think. <laughs> um, I think that I had knight g4 at some point when I said that knight g4, bishop g4, rook e4, but what I didn't like was knight f3, take on g4, take on g5, take, and uh, I did not like a rook and king with extra pawn. Do you guys imagine this? It's a bit unbelievable, isn't it? Hey, why? Yeah. Let's do this. A6. Standard line, very standard. I think I have to play rook e8. I have to play rook e8 at some point. Um, mm -hmm. Get my queen somewhere on b8 and try to play with e6 and b5. This is something like this. Michael J is telling me I always have an excuse ready. And you always have. Or I misunderstand it, sorry. Um, 95 is a good move. I think I have to go here. Because I cannot allow bishop b6 coming. Like if I play queen d8 then um, knight c6 and bishop b6 coming. This is not nice. b4? Come on, too aggressive, don't you think so? <laughs> Doesn't think so, yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, knight d5, cd5, knight d4, bishop d4, bishop d4, queen d4, take, take, rook c8, draw. Do we want that? No. Um, no, not because my position is better, not because I play better, just I think, um, 
it's worth of trying something. Knight d4, bishop d4, b5. Then I have problem on f6. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see um, how can I continue this one. I probably have to take it. I have to take this one as well. Let's take this one. Sometimes you just have to accept the fate and not over push it because over pushing is is bad. When the position does not allow you to over push, then you should not do it. You should accept that. Okay, it's a draw, it's a draw. You wanted to play? Play another game. Mm. Oh, um, Bach of Chess Lab is telling me to take a look at 95 in the previous game. It was possible. Yeah, probably it was possible because of rook f6, knight g4. That was the trick, right? It's interesting. Okay, let's keep the queens just for fun. I don't know. Let's keep it. I want queen b6, bishop b5. If I have to play this end game, I would probably play with still black pieces. Though I, I do think that it's pretty much equal and maybe white is slightly better in the sense that you can push pawns with f4 and e5. My idea was to play queen c7 so that if queen c4 happens then I have queen b6. But now I have c5. h3. Why h3? Okay. Let's, let's get to business. Queen c4. Pity I don't have queen b1 and yeah, I, I'd like to play queen d2. Let's keep the queens on board. King g7, maybe h5, h4 at some point, king h7. Well, it should be a draw. Definitely. a3. Bishop b5 I don't have, so I'll go king g7. Bishop b5, queen c8 was the problem. Now bishop b5 is kind of... Okay. Queen d4 is still there, yeah? Let's give one more check. And let's play queen e5. I'm stopper, no? <laughs> I like to be stopper. Okay, this is what I was planning to get a3 pawn. Ta da! Yeah, but I don't know if it was a good idea. <laughs> Probably not. Bishop takes a, b, queen e7, queen b4. Was that like me who told, like, don't over push? It was probably me, yeah. <laughs> but I think, no, it's not that bad what I did. 
Okay, b5, you want e5? Let's go h5. e5, queen e1, I have, so. Okay, queen e1. Oh, I can't take. Sorry, I can't take. Uh, okay, then let's go b4. Let's take this one. Give a check. Let's go um, queen c1 check first. Um, here. B3. Okay. Mm, okay. Should I? Ugh. Okay. Ooh. What is this? Oh. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's try something something not smart. Draw. Oh god, I'm not in time. Oh Queen H4 was a blunder. It was a trick. It was a trick. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> You guys gave me hard times. That's not fair. Thank you. Thank you very much for the games. I think Queen H4 was evil, evil blunder. <laughs> Just to trick me that I don't have time to grab it and play B1. But okay, um, I also do this lots of times, so you're forgiven, Fisher's man. Congratulations for a good spirit. I was telling myself, don't over push. Don't do that. It happens already. I don't know how many times. But that's life. What to do? I hope you enjoyed it. At least I got all my whites. Not blacks. Too bad. But next time I'll be back with you guys with my revenges. <laughs> so be careful. Uh, wish you a very good day. Enjoy. I'll be very soon in Hamburg. And let me see if I can sneak to the studio and have a show banter please from there thank you very much for being here thank you very much for bearing good luck to build chess festival uh participants um although we know the winner already so have a fun day bye bye